Welcome to Fat Over 40. My name is Miles and in this episode I'm going to tell you all about my DEXA scan. Now, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. There's a new film every single Friday and if you like what you hear, please give us a thumbs up. But more importantly, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Now, uh, a couple of days ago I went for uh, a body scan. Uh, to, to really try and set a good base level now for my final push uh, on my weight loss journey. Now, what is a DEXA scan? Well, basically, it was uh, originally designed for um, detecting osteoporosis. So it's like a light x-ray, uh, but instead of uh, sort of concentrating on one bit of your spine like they do when they uh, check for osteoporosis, uh, they actually move the machine up and down your body uh, and it scans you from head to toe. And it breaks down, uh, unlike other sort of body scans, it breaks down your uh, uh, body into three different components. So it's uh, fat, uh, lean uh, muscle mass, and bone. So it gives you uh, very, very accurate readings. Uh, and also, like, uh, you know, your left arm, your right arm, so different parts of your body. So it was very, very interesting. It only took about three and a half minutes to get scanned. Uh, and then I spent about 40 minutes going through all of the data, uh, <laughs> trying to sort of understand it all. Um, but it was all very, very interesting. Now, I'm going to rattle through the sort of the headlines of what happened. And then I'll go into a little bit more detail uh, for those that want it. Um, now, uh... I'll put some charts up on the screen or some parts of the uh, charts that I've got so you can see what I'm talking about in a bit more detail. Um, but everyone's heard of uh, BMI, Body Mass Index, uh, and mine came out at 33, uh, which still means that I'm obese. So there we go. Um, there's a little bit of controversy about BMI. Um, uh, I don't really consider myself to be obese anymore, but apparently I am. Uh, uh, my body fat came out at 26% uh, and it, in um, what they do is they compare you to uh, all of the other um, scans that have taken place within that particular clinic uh, and that sort of sat me right in the middle of the road I suppose, a little bit more towards the top end of where I shouldn't be I guess. Um, but 26% and that's what I've been seeing when I've stood on the uh, not so whizzy scales with my PT anyway week in week out so um, that's nice to know. Uh, my muscle mass that was an in index figure of 23.4 uh, and that uh, meant that I was actually in the top 95% uh, um, of those tested so I actually uh, found out that I am really really muscly yeah so underneath the fat or with the fat um, there's a lot of muscle left. Uh, and my bone density as well. I was surprised my bone density index was 130. Um, and to put that into some sort of context, he showed me a printout of a guy who was like a quite a big sort of bodybuilder and would be considered to be like an elite athlete uh, and not a lot of fat on him. And his body, his uh, bone um, index was 113, 113, and mine was 130. So um, yeah, he said that I had really hard bones. There we go. So, uh, in short, or in summary, uh, I've got 25-26% body fat, um, I have got quite a lot of muscle going on, and my bones are in good shape. So that, those are the headlines. Uh, let's get down into some detail. Now, uh, I weighed in at a total mass of 106 kilos. Um, my lean mass, so out of the 106 kilos, uh, 78 and a half kilos is lean mass, so that's quite high, uh, and 27.5 kilos, that is fat. Um, my skeleton, now I thought my skeleton would weigh, you know, a decent amount. I thought maybe like 20 kilos or something. My skeleton only weighs 2.36 kilos. <laughs> so it really is quite light, even though there's quite a lot of it, which is amazing. Uh, my visceral fat, so the fat that surrounds my organs, um, which you need a little bit of to sort of uh, to be healthy, but you don't want a lot of, and I've still got quite a lot of it. Um, and in total, it was 481 grams of visceral fat, so half a kilo of fat that was um, around my organs. So that's quite, um, quite high, and I need to drive that down. Uh, so so to sort of summarise what I need to do, um, or no, let me just let me just go back and, and focus on one little anomaly. Um, I'll put a picture up on the screen of my um, scan, and if you look closely at my uh, calves, you will see that my left calf, as you look at it, 
on the right hand side is considerably smaller uh, than my right calf. Um, that's all down to the fact that I had an ACL operation about 25 years ago uh, and I never really did the sort of rehab after so I've always had like a sort of smaller left leg. Um, so one of the things to come out from this is it said that my left leg actually had half a kilo more fat than my right leg, my bigger leg, um, and it actually had a kilo less muscle than my right leg. So I'm going to work into my, uh, my exercise routine, lots of single leg work on my left leg to try and build my left leg up. And the great thing about doing this scan in three months time is I'll be able to tell whether or not it's made a difference. Yeah, so that's great. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself tested again in three months time and then in six, three months after that and three months after that. So um, I'll be doing these every three months over the course of the next year to really see what a difference uh, my diet and exercise uh, makes to my body composition. So uh, my uh, muscle mass, my goal there is to keep that the same uh, and my goal for my body fat is to try and drive that down by five kilos in the next three months, yeah? Uh, and work on my left leg. So, there we go. Um, now, is, uh, uh, is this type of scan uh, for everyone? I would say, no, I don't think it is for everybody. Um, what this has shown me is that the, um, the scales that cost sort of just, uh, the scales that I've been getting on that run the sort of current through you, um, they're pretty good. I mean, they're not like ac dead accurate, but certainly good enough for what you need in terms of a guide. Um, my best friend was like, oh, I'm going to go and get that done. And I was like, well, you know, great, go and have it done. But unless you're going to follow it up in sort of three, six months time and actually do something about things within those three to six months, then it is like a waste of money. It was expensive. Um, it definitely isn't for everyone. But for me, it set me a great baseline. Loads and loads of stats. So many stats. Um, that I'll be able to compare. I mean, I'm quite excited to compare them in three months time to see my progress. So there we go. Um, if you haven't seen my previous video, click here and here. And if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Subscribe and ding ling ling, ring that bell. And if you make one change this week, get yourself a baseline so you don't die fat. <laughs>